to do this. Then. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash, stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass-produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge, and if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one in five. <laughs> no, no confidence from Dunwall. Log entry one four. Whoop. Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point, we need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End law. Is this now, off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is this? Now, I mentioned, you mentioned Martin. We'll find out who that, that is in our next mission. Hmm. He's, a, he's another important member of the conspiracy. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be advised, the river crust infestation has spread downriver as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. Yeah. Eventually you will be meeting a river crust as well. They are, they are pretty nasty customers. <laughs> Even the name just sounds horrible. Crust. Crust. With a K. Hard K. Here's my room. The tiny door. I'm and, uh, sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? Say. Oh, Lydia. This is your room. Ah! It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. I'll be watching while you sleep. <laughs> he gives that vibe, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just gonna wake up, he's standing over me with a butcher knife. When you wake up, old Sam will be here, staring at you. <laughs> this is... Oh, last inhabitant just left a bunch of money. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't want to let a draft in. Because it's so nice, you know, it's so nice in here otherwise. It would probably be more, look at this place, it would probably be more sanitary to just sleep outside. But yeah, it looks like it. Now we're going to go to sleep. I'm sure we won't have any weird dreams or nocturnal disturbances or, look, we're somewhere else now. <laughs> Somewhere else. I do like these transition screens. It's very comic book feel. It, it looks. It does look neat. All right, now observe. And I'm up. Yeah. What... No, it sounds like it's raining outside. I noticed that that door's all bricked up now. That's odd. <laughs> Well, head, just head downstairs, grab a snack, and holy crap! <laughs> a visit from the outsider, who I, who I, who, as I believe I mentioned, is basically the Abbey, the main religion of this world. He's the their equivalent of the devil. So, whoop! Well, this shouldn't be. Welcome to the void. It's like L.A. That's not a nice thing to say about the void, Nick. <laughs> okay, again, that 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 beep noises. That's just me taking some screenshots because I forgot to turn the noise off. Yeah. Okay. And I noticed, you know, there's no gravity. The, you know, gravity goes every which way up here. Um, he used to fall off, right? You can, you can. I think you just get put back. You just get deposited back up again. So, 
I guess this version of hell doesn't seem so bad. Well, what what the Abbey says about the outsider is not and the void is not necessarily to be trusted. Hello, uh oh, uh oh. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress. He is doesn't dead. seem like such a bad Precious guy. Daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play. He's just kind of on fire. <laughs> For this, I have chosen you. Or smoke. Drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. This Use is, this, this is, I think, my favorite. My gift to you. Uh, Come find Training me. sequence. This is pretty cool. It's got great atmosphere. Hmm. Okay, now we've... Now this, you notice this place is filled with sort of like... Remnants of our... Of you know the of like the real world, just scattered about haphazardly. I believe this is Samuel's boat, or it looks like it anyway. Hmm. Maybe Samuel's the outsider. Now, as you can see, my hand has been stamped, so I can I can come back into the void again later without paying the cover charge again. Good. That'll get you. Drinks are not free, though. No, no. Not unless you are a hot lady. I, I, I just love the look of this place. Okay, blink. This is the first power we get. It, it's, it's a, it basically allows you to teleport for short distances. This is pretty much how they, uh, those guys, like, teleported no. and then killed them. Yep, yeah, remember remember the assassination of the Empress? Those guys appearing and disappearing? Speaking yeah. of the assassination of the Empress... Ooh, it's a letter, a letter for us. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save, and it goes on like that, basically. So all work, no play. So yeah, there's the the void contains like echoes or memories of like great of like you know event relevant events that are relevant to the visitor, I guess. Mm. How, how did how did this get into the void? I asked. I don't. Yeah, this seems a lot less like hell and more like that one time on Lost. Kind of makes me think of Dimension X from Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, there's that. Neutrinos. <laughs> oh, there, no, there's a, there's actually a, there's a whale actually adrift over there. Oh. Now, now the way your mana works is, it, f, after you, uh, if you tell it, if you blink, and you wait a while, it'll recharge. Back to full. What? Oh, okay. Well, there's Emily. Oh, Emily's letter. Ooh, look at this guy. Who, who could this be? Uh, he looks like a guy from Psychonauts. He does! Holy crap, I hadn't even thought of that, but you're right. Emily's letter. Corvo, I am very sad. They say that you're dead like mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river, because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. If you're not busy, you know. Yeah. So she, she she wrote a letter and just threw it into the river, but it's turned up here in the void. Well, the whale probably ate it. I mean, they seem to be in a nicely decorated part of the infinite abyss. Oh, there's a whale over there, actually. Hmm. Right. Notice it's got, like, those, like, tentacle things coming, like, out below it? Yeah. Did you ever see Treasure Planet? I have not. They had whales, like space whales and that, and that's what this these whales remind me of. Okay. And in the Treasure Planet game, you can shoot at the whales, and everybody would get super pissed at you. Alright. Alright, now let's see. Looks like a bunch of maps. Oh, there's a picture. I think that's a picture of me over there. And here... Oh, oh there, there's the Lord Regent. And this looks like... Apparently he's a Warhammer 40,000 fan, I guess. He's got a game going. And as, he's a super fan. And... As you can see, he's upset. He's upset here because the, the the Tyranids have broken through his line, and he plays Imperial Guard, so they have no melee. Well, never mind. What? Yeah, he's oh. not really good at painting those pieces. No, he's not. All right. Now here's some guy cowering before. Look at these things. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll be seeing more of these. These are tall boys. They, uh... They're exactly... They're... They're, well, they're guys on stilts with giant, you shoot fly, giant flaming projectiles, basically. The build, the way you can take, potentially take these down is very satisfying if you can leap on them from a high point. Okay, now I see that arrow there. If you aim it at something that you can climb up like that, then it'll automatically, you'll automatically climb it. So, <clears throat> you don't have to, you can like, if you aim your blink at the side of platforms, you know, that's often enough. And that arrow will tell you if you can grab on or not. But yeah, basically, your mana will regenerate if you blink. Um, and if you wait a while, it'll regenerate to full. If you blink rapidly in succession before it regenerates, then the mana does not come back unless you use a potion. So basically, if you, if you, you, if you use it slowly, then it doesn't have you any permanent mana cost. Whereas other powers do. What's the problem? Days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Huh. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my wounds, no matter how they may be hidden. You should tan more. We should. To the heart now. Well, he lives in a dimension with no sun. Well, that's probably why he's so upset. Okay, this this is one of the creepier things, of the cooler and creepier things in the heart. This is the end of all things. This actually rem reminds me of, um... Um... I have no mouth and I must All scream. Did you ever play that? No yeah, I've seen it. But yeah, basically, the heart will say stuff. If you point it at someone, it'll say stuff about that person. That line's so creepy for some re to me for some reason. Yeah. Well, all the, but it'll or if you're not putting anything in particular, it'll say stuff relevant to the place you're at. So can you point it? Well, does it does it have um, unique dialogue? Because I never used it uh, on people all that much. Does it have unique dialogue for every single NPC? Um, it does for all like the plot, like plot relevant characters. Actually, for the major plot, for the major plot characters, it um it has quite a few lines of dialogue that it'll cycle through. Can you use it on Lydia? Yes, you can. Although the thing is, okay. with uh, other characters, there's also like a set of like generic lines for different character types. Like if you if you use it on a guard, then it'll use it'll say one of the like the, the guard lines basically. Or if you use it like and the or or it'll have a set of like lines for you know female aristocrat, male aristocrat, overseer, weepers, servants, things like that. So, so, so if if you're not important enough to have your own lines, then you get slot, you get one of the generic sets of lines, which can get and it, the, the, that does can run into problems because it's the game sort of assumes that you're only each individual person you're only gonna you know hit with the heart once or twice, you hear one or two things, but if you keep using it on the same person over and over again, and it's just you know a generic person, it'll cycle through all the lines for that character type, which gets kind of weird because some of them don't really make sense on the same person. Because mm. they, they weren't supposed to be describing the same person. They're supposed to be describing... Like I said, they're made with the assumption that you'll be using it on different people. Right. So it can... And also, Lydia kind of confusingly gets the generic servant woman lines. Some of which don't really make sense considering her... Considering her... Who she is and her role in the plot. But for the most part, it's really cool. And it's kind of... It, it gives you some more insight into the major characters and... And into just sort of the world of Dishonored. So I was gonna say it won't let you like right before you kill somebody won't let you be like he's thinking about his kids. No, no, nothing, nothing quite that. That would be hilarious. Morbidly hilarious, of course, because you would murder him. But yes. 
Here's a rune. Get more of these, you can you can gain more abilities. Now I have. These are all the abilities you can get. Now I'm getting dark vision. This lets you see people through walls. It lets you see enemies' cones of vision. It lets you see, How like you the. Use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. 